When someone comes up to you, they're supposed to be in trouble. You need to teach them. So, okay, your ass is in trouble. You don't know what I'm going to teach you. Okay, so, the minute you grab, place your two hands. You got two hands here. What do you got to block with? What do you have to strike with? Not much. All this focus is here. That's why this is stupid. Understand? If it's going like this, okay. Not much kind of either. He has a free hand, I got a free hand. Understand? But either way, you should have one thing in mind. How you're going to do him. As quickly and as nasty as possible. And listen, I had these eight women told me, I want to be a badass. I'm serious. Lauren's one of them. You're a badass. Easy. You gotta know how to be bad and how to be an ass. <laughs> Once again, yes. Okay. So, right here. What are you doing? You go, for me? You say, for me? Where's my hand? It was here. It was here. For me? So my hand covered half the distance already. You go, what do you mean? His eyes. Ah, right? Wow. That's just the opening. The opening, because you know, listen, when you go there, his head's going to go back. So you got to catch him, throw the knee. Oh. Understand? You say, thank you, go away. Thank you, buddy. thank you. So if you don't change the mentality, right, then these skills, are, you're not ready for these skills. Understand? Otherwise, I'm going to give you a gun. You're like, oh, I don't want to shoot it. Listen, if you're in trouble, and you have a gun, it's time to shoot. That's all there is to it. But if you're martial arts, not a gun, you're not doing martial arts. You're doing martial play. And that's okay, but martial play is martial sports. No matter how rough the football's played too, it's rough. I wouldn't play with them, but it's still play. You understand? No, understand? It's still play. Alright? So, you have to think like. I was going to say something I shouldn't say. <laughs> My name was respected. <laughs> You gotta think differently. If you're doing play martial arts, then you play. If you're doing martial sports, then you play because you're actually you're actually programmed to play. Don't hit to the eye. Don't kick to the groin. Don't do this. Don't do that. Do stuff that the judges can see. Do stuff that the people can see. Don't do stuff they can't see. Do stuff so the match goes on a long time. You can't end the match in 30 seconds. 15 seconds, the way to pay for that. So, so with martial sports, you're programmed to play. Okay, make it look tough, but you're programmed to play. Okay, martial arts, you're programmed to survive. Okay, you're programmed to deal with the adversary properly. Okay, because you're programmed for war. That's the truth. But you're programmed for war. Look at the statistics for the violence against women. Look at the statistics. Okay? Why is so much bull crap going on in the world? We have so many martial arts schools. And we have so many women self-defense programs. What is it happening? Why do we have events, by the way, where they don't even talk about the violence against women? Okay? Or stuff that women face. Both that women face even a lot of martial arts schools. Because they're not dealing with war. Understand? You have to have the right mentality. There's a war against women. Most don't want to acknowledge it. But that is the truth. There was a war against women that's been going on a long time. So once you get that straight, you know where you actually really stand. When you know where you really stand, where you are, you know where you have to go, where you want to be. When you got these two, now you can make a plan how to get there. Get from where you are to where you want to be. They get from weakness to strength. Okay? From being a victim to being a victor. From being powerless to being powerful. So now, warfare has certain rules. That's why you can study Lao Tzu. Actually, Sun Tzu. Lao Tzu is the other side. Lao Tzu is the blue. Sun Tzu is the red. Lao Tzu is about peace. Sun Tzu is about war. But you got to have both. So number one. When you have an enemy, you got to take out the enemy fast. You have to understand what an enemy is. It is an enemy that will destroy you, okay, and not think twice about it. 
So you have to take out the enemy fast. That's why I said in this seminar, in your training, you got to learn when and how, but to strike first. Get like that? Strike fast. Strike ferociously. And you got to be fierce. Those are your four F's. You got to get them. You got to keep them. You got to get that down. Your four F's. Okay? So you have to understand that when a person attacks you, they don't have a right to their health anymore. They've taken away your right. Understand? They don't have a right, right, to go home anymore. They've taken away your right. You're trying to get home. Someone said, no, I'm taking you somewhere else. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to rob you, rape you, and kill you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so, so, you have to be a warrior of justice, of course. I believe you are. Do you care about other women? Yes. Right? Do you get what little girls like Rodwell coming up with 12, have no idea what kind of what she's walking into? Right? So, get away from, I don't want to hurt this guy. And go towards, I'm taking him out of circulation. Because he's not going to stop. You understand? It's like a shock. A shock's like a killing machine. It just, it just, what's around, can it devour, right? That's what you're dealing with. So, you have to make sure that your brain has a channel that you can tune into. You can't stay in that channel. That one of those, I've seen some crazy schools where like, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> no, that's why we have Lao Tzu. <laughs> Lao Tzu also. Understand? That's not good. You know why it's not good, by the way? Because if you have this kind of tension, what kind of energy are you sending out into the universe? So what are you attracting? Right? What's happening to the cells in your body? Your internal organs. Do you understand? Okay? So that's also why you can't. You can't. You can't. You gotta be able to snap some fingers, break a collarbone, crack a skull, okay, gouge an eye, right? Okay. Crush some testicles, off the face, bow. Okay, so sorry. You're forgiven now. And leave it, and leave it there. Leave it all there. Yes. Like that? Because the object, the goal is to live in peace. Yes? You can't live in peace if you've got tension in the wall all the time. Like right? some people I know, not to mention any names, I look and I said, why are you coming to my school? My school's not about that. Some people come to the test, they bring flowers. They bring flowers. Some people come, they bring war paint. What's that say? Fear. And what does fear attract? The things we fear. You understand? So fear generates more fear. Remember the beginning of this handbook. Our enemy is humanity. Remember what is fear? Now fear comes hatred. Okay, so. So, you gotta, so look, we have the patch is red and blue, the flag is red and blue, right? It's the omen yang, it's the fine water. You gotta have both, right? So yes, you gotta have their fierceness. But if people that have this fierceness and they have no peace, right? They're not living. They're dying every moment. That's not life, okay? That's like, more like a life sentence. We're good. Then you get the other side, people like, okay, I'm all peace and love, that's one love the world. I don't want to see anything negative, I don't want to look at the news, right? Listen, when that shot gets you, why? Because they, they, there's an imbalance there, you understand? Everything in nature has been equipped with a self-defense mechanism. Everything. So, whoever told women that they shouldn't have theirs? I can tell you, actually. I'm not good either. Some people still brainwash them. <laughs> They're following the true teachings of Yeshua, they follow the false teachings. And that's why we can squish down most places in the world. Okay, remember something. All life on the planet comes through women. Think about that. All life on the planet. Okay? Own your place in the universe. How to get onto that? For doing the yin techniques. <laughs>
So the yin techniques are the most important techniques. Okay? Because the yin techniques, they get stronger and stronger. Are you going to do a yang, yang, yang at a certain age? Guess what? They don't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you straight. There are thousands of masters. I mean, some won't even masters. <laughs> but they do yang, yang, yang. And maybe they had an arsenal of 200 techniques, 200 skills. And as time went on, because of imbalance of the yang, yang, yang and injuries, then all of a sudden they had 150 techniques or skills. Then they had 100 skills. Then they had 50 skills. And it, it kept going down. 40 skills, 20 skills. 20 skills that they can actually do to 10 skills. So what's going on here? Why is it like that? Then you have other people, 60, 70, 80, and it's like their bodies like, they just keep like blooming. Right? They're, they're moving fluidly, they're, you know, and, and they're, 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 they're happy. So then they're happy. They don't have all that other stuff that people have. Not my first hip replacement, my back, my shoulder, my knee, my kidney, my diabetes, my hypertension, my this. What's going on? Think about that. Right? It's about the yang. Okay? But also eating too yang. Even, even eating has to be balanced. Yin and yang. Right? So they teach it in the academic school, Arab school, right? Eating has to be balanced. Right? And so much yang, yang, yang. Who's the guy? MacGyver? The, the, the Irish guy? Tough guy. Really good fighter. Good fighter. And he fought McGregor. the vegetarian. McGregor. 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 <coughs> right? And he said, I'm a lion. <laughs> You're a sheep. You need to eat vegetables. I'm a lion. I eat two steaks a day. So you see him after the fight. Oh, it's two steaks a day. Too much yang. And he did less steak and more veggies. But we killed him. Because he's a beast. You know? So. Everything must be balanced. It must be balanced. So don't let the world make you very yin. Okay? Because women have been some of the most fierce warriors in the world. And that being said, after salute, the what is it? The Kurdish women. The Kurdish women who are kicking ISIS butt. It's not in the news here at all. Not in the news here at all. Okay? They, 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 they run. When these women come, they run. What's up here? You understand? Take your right place. Okay. Sir. 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 I'm so happy that I'm so happy.